10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. KBLP LLC, thank you all for rocking with me in the world of Mad Vlad Brad. I think it's time I expose Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Oh, yes, it's about to get ugly. It's going to get brutal. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm back. Yes. Finally, finally, I've been gone for a long time, but I'm back and I'm in full effect. You know what? I don't even know what to say, but I'm going to start off. I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to get right into it. I mean, my my mind is spinning right now. It's spinning. First, I want to say this. That election was completely rigged, completely rigged. And I noticed one thing, If you know, out of all the elections that I've ever seen in my life, you know, when it comes to these presidents that's being elected, these pe- ele- electives and everything else, here's the first time that they were trying to push that the ballots get mailed in. Like the Democrats, by the Democrats, I mean Joe Biden and his and his uh and his cohorts and his goons, I, I, I want to call them, that was de- that was pushing the election, they was pushing it that, that you mail these ballots in. They wanted these ballots to get mailed in so bad. And I asked myself, why is it that they're so bad to want to get these ballots mailed in? Well, like, what is it the big deal by mailing these ballots in? You know why they wanted to get them mailed in? Because they knew they were going to cheat. They knew they were going to rig the election. That's why they wanted to, rig, they wanted to mail them in. That's exactly why. But just like I said in the opening of this video, I mean, the opening of, the, of this, of, 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 of my, what, I, I can't even think straight. I'm so angry. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. This recording. The, the opening was recording. I said, I'm going to expose Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I'm about to expose them. I'm going to get, like I said, getting right into it. I'm going to just, let's, let's get on Joe Harris. Kamala Harris, I'm going to get on, I mean, Joe, Joe Biden. Let's get on Joe Biden. Kamala Harris, you're next. But right now, I'm going to talk about Joe Biden. And I'm going to say it flat out. Joe Biden is a racist. Flat out. Joe Biden don't like black people. He do not like black people. And the thing is, I'm going uh, like I'm going to tell you guys facts. Like I'm not even going based off a of theory. I'm not going based off what I heard. I'm going based off what I read and what I seen. Joe Biden, here's what Joe Biden said. Out of his own mouth, he said he hate black people out of his own mouth. That's what Joe Biden said out of his mouth, his own words. Not only that. Not only that. You can you can go Google and look it up. Joe Biden said, and I quote, I don't want my my kids going to school with these monkeys. By monkeys, he's talking about black people. That's what he said out of his own mouth. That's what Joe Biden said. So if that ain't racist, I don't know what is. But here's what people are going to say. Oh, no, dude, you know what? Uh, he changed. That was a long time ago. You know, he said that back when uh, that was so many years ago. And he said that he's a changed man now. He's a changed man now. He completely changed, dude. No, he is not. Of course he's going to say he changed because he's running for the presidency. Naturally, he's going to say he changed. If I'm running for president, I'm going to say I changed too. Based on the circumstance, I'm going to say I changed. You see what I mean? He did not change. You know, um, but the thing about it is this. So uh, he is a politician. Politicians, they lie, they cheat, they steal. That's what politicians do. You know, um, I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get back on Joe uh, on Joe Biden in a minute. I'm gonna get back on him in a minute. I want to talk about Kamala Harris. That's what I want to talk about right now. First off, I'm gonna talk about um, black people and Jamal and, and Kamala Harris. I'm gonna talk about black people and Kamala Harris. First off, Kamala Harris. Look, 
there's nothing black about Kamala Harris at all. There's not. There's nothing at all black about Kamala Harris. The only thing black about Kamala Harris is her skin. Her skin color is black. That's that's it. Other than that, there's nothing else black about her. She don't have a black husband. She don't claim to be black like that. Um, and let's talk about what else Kamala Harris did. You know what? I, I'm I'm speaking facts. Kamala Harris, she put more black dudes in jail than anybody in the history that's been in her position. You see what I mean? And she's I well, she was like some type of governor, not well, she's like some senator. I don't know what she was, but I do know this. I do know whatever it is that she did, she made sure she put black dudes behind bars in jail. But when when, when black people did when when they decided to vote, they didn't even think about none of this. Like they didn't care. Because there's numerous black dudes that voted for her, but they didn't think about this. Like you black dudes that voted for her, she put you guys in jail. And she's gonna continue to do it if she had her way. Like, are you kidding me right now? Wow. And and the thing about it, back you know what? Back to Joe Biden. Let's get back to Joe Biden. Um, the thing about it, this about with Joe Biden. Um, first off, I want to say black people who voted for Joe Biden are completely ignorant and uneducated. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, I'm just stating facts. You know why? Because they, you know, they they go they 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 vote based off rumors and they don't go off their own research. And here's what they say, right? When they act, like most of these most black most black that voted for um for uh, uh was it the Joe Biden Joe Biden Kamala Harris? They don't even know why. They, like they they hate they they hate Donald Trump. They say they don't even know why they hate him. They don't even know why. You said they're going based off rumors and speculation what other people said. You know what I mean? They don't even know why themselves. Do you ask if you ask the average black person to vote uh vote uh, vote, uh vote against uh um. Uh, Donald Trump and 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 ask them why did they hate Donald Trump? They don't know. They can't tell you. They won't even be able to tell you. You see what I mean? They go based off of hearsay. You see, and, but here's what they're gonna say. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? Um, Donald Trump, he's a racist. You know, he he's a complete racist. You know, that's why we don't vote for him. That's why we don't like him. We hate him because he's a racist. His uh, you know what? His uh, people, his people, they were his his parents. They were in the Ku Klux Klan. That's what his parents was at. Not true, but. Let's assume that's just true. Let, let's, for, for the sake of argument, let's just say that that's the truth. Let, let's just say his, his parents was a part of Ku Klux Klan. Let's just assume that, right? Here's the thing. That is a lame excuse. You know why? Let's just be real. Let's just be honest. Everybody in America who is white, every white person in America that from America's soil are descendants of other white people who own black slaves. All of them. You see what I mean? Even um, um, Joe Biden, you know, so so that's the that's the lamest excuse in the world. The, that's the lamest excuse in the world. And you know what? Not even I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about this real quick, real quick. You know, the, here, here's the thing about black people. And it just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because because um, Joe Biden should not have won that election. He should not have won that. The thing about it is this, um, you know. Okay, black people get mad that you know. Okay, how can they say they get angry with everybody else? Like, if, if if you if you're not black and you and and you you say that you don't like black people, you claim that you don't like black people, or you 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 show it, or you voice it. Black people get mad at that. They get they get angry if you they get angry. They feel like you don't like them, you don't hate them. If you hate them, you don't like them. What about blacks hating other blacks? What about that? You see what I mean? What about the the dude? Uh, the uh, the uh, what's the Breonna Taylor female? What about the guy who got who, 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 uh, the black dude who got him, got him, the, them off? Like the black dude who 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 got the officers unacquitted, who, who decided not to charge them? What about him? Like y'all y'all, y'all see him going off on him, and that's a black man. You see what I mean? Here, here's the thing. Um, and, and, and let's just be honest, you know, and and see, black black people are living in this fantasy world. They're living in this fantasy world, and they think that. Okay, whoever get, get in office, whoever the president elect is, they're gonna be for their people. Like regardless who it is, they're gonna be for their people. I mean, you know, and and not just facts. Like for example, you put an Asian guy, make an Asian guy the president. He's gonna cater to Asians, and that's just what it is. You see what I mean? You put a white person there, they're gonna cater to white people. I mean, that's just what it is. Only people who's not gonna cater to 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 to, to their own to to their own race or own kind for that matter is somebody black and not just what it is you said I mean you have a you it's, it's a strong chance of putting somebody in a position of power that's black that's not going to cater to other blacks you said I mean and and that's just facts that's just facts and and the guy who acquitted the officers who killed Breonna Taylor he's a living example of that he's a living living example of that 
You see what I mean? But, I mean, don't take my word for it. Go research it. Go look it up yourself. Me, I believe in researching and studying. I don't never take nobody's word for anything. I research, I study myself. And that's the thing. You have... Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm just like, this is just mind boggling. I can't believe this dude won. He should not. He was not supposed to win this election. He was not. And here's the thing, right? It, black, black people, especially dudes, by black people, I mean mostly guys. But you women, I'm not letting you off either. You, you, you guys gonna get in this, in, in this podcast. You guys gonna get it too. But here's like, Black dudes are always looking for the next thing to hate. They're always looking for something to hate or talk trash about. Like this, this spawns from what you call decades, decades back. Like, let's talk about, I mean, stuff that I, I don't even remember. I was a child, but I did my research because I read. Here's the thing. Let's talk about decades and decades ago. Back when, uh, um, they, they, black people, they look for something to hate. Black dudes, like Pete Wilson, for example. Let's talk about, he was one of the, he's one of the first ones I, I could remember. That uh and, and then they the thing is they go based off speculation they don't have facts behind what they hate for like they go based off and then they blow things out of proportion why they hate for example P Wilson oh uh, uh, or F P Wilson uh they look for something to say if they want to seem cool they want they've been they've been chasing clout for years black dudes been chasing clout for years they look for a reason to hate something just to say just to chase clout just to assume that they got swag just to assume that they're cool just to just to be perceived as being cool just be being perceived as being uh, hip, just to be, just to try to perceive as being a rebel, being a rebel, being a bad boy. They wanna, they wanna have something to hate because they don't, they can't talk. They have no speech, so that that's all they have to go. Like here, here here's what they do. Uh, again, oh uh, F P Wilson, oh uh, P Wilson, or uh, F P Wilson. Like they were saying that for a minute. P Wilson was the person to hate for a minute. He he was that third person to hate for for a while. Then for P Wilson, who 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 was who was next? Who was next? Um, it was Tommy Hilfiger, right? And here's what Tommy Hilfiger said. They they base they formulate opinions and they don't have true facts. They just hear something black and they just say somebody say something about something black and they want to hate it. Like for example, here's what Tommy Hilfiger said, and this is a fact. So Tommy Hilfiger said this. Tommy Hilfiger is not a racist, but here's what he said. Here's what Tommy Hilfiger said. When when because uh, remember blacks was hating Tommy Hilfiger for a long time, but here's what he said. He said this. He said, you know what? My clothes aren't specifically for black people. My clothes are for everybody. He said, I created my, my clothing line and my brand for everybody to wear. I didn't, I didn't create it specifically for black people, for black people. That ain't what I created for. I don't mind if black people wear my clothes. That's fine. Black people, Asians, white, whoever, Hispanics, everybody can wear my clothes. My, I made my clothes for everybody. Um, so it's not specifically for black people. And here's what black said. Oh, what? He said he hate black people. Oh, man. F Tommy Hill. Oh, you know what? F Tommy Hill figure. F him. Oh, man. Tommy Hill, you heard it? Yeah, he said he hate black people. Hey, F, F Tommy Hill. You see what I mean? That's how they, they just, they mind numbingly, stu- I'm sorry, they stupid. I'm sorry, I said it. They stupid. Just mind numbingly uneducated. They're uneducated and they just follow anything. They're, they're easily influenced and uneducated. And that's just what it is. You see what I mean? And I'm going to tell you this. Um, What's the next thing? We need something else. We need something else. They look for something to hate. The next thing they hated, it was, it was Chris Style, the, the drink Chris Style. What was it? They was calling it Piss Style with, with, with the, the, cause you know, they like to drink the Chris, the, the Chris Style at the time. So that was the next thing. Oh, F Chris Style. Oh man, yeah, F Chris Style. F that, yeah. Oh, F Chris Style. Yeah, we, yeah, hell yeah. You see what I mean? They look for something to hate just to seem like, just to seem like they're cool. It was the next thing. The next thing. I can think of other things, but the, the, the new thing was Donald Trump. Donald Trump was the new thing to hate, to say that F. Oh man, F Donald Trump. Oh yeah, 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 hell yeah, F Donald Trump. Without even do do your research, study, go read. You see what I mean? Y'all, y'all voted this uh, somebody who's worse than Trump. If y'all th- Trump was not bad, but but this uh uh what's the name? Joe Biden, he's bad. Kamala Harris is bad. And and that's just what it is. So, I mean, y'all don't y'all don't do y'all researches? And and not to mention, oh my gosh, guess what's about to happen? He's about to raise taxes. That's what Joe Biden's going to do. Small businesses, that's out. Economy, that's out. That's done. That's out. Like small businesses, y'all trying to get y'all businesses off the ground? That's over with. Taxes about to get raised on all that. Everything. Here's one thing y'all, y'all for neglect to realize about Trump. Trump, he's a self-made billionaire. I mean, the thing, he's a successful billionaire. Like, I mean, that's just what it is. You see what I mean? And... Here's the thing, right? Um, just keeping honest, I mean, the Democrats. I mean, I'm not even, like, I grew up in a Democrat mindset. Like, you know, 
I grew up in poverty. I grew up getting evicted out of apartments and everything else because my mom was a Democrat. You said, I mean, she was lazy and she didn't want to work. I'm just being honest. She was lazy. She didn't want to work. She's black. She didn't want to work. So she, she, I mean, we constantly got evicted off of, I mean, she was on low income housing, low income housing and still getting evicted. How are you on low income housing and you getting evicted? Like that makes no sense. How much you paying? Like a whole 50 cent of rent? You paying a whole 75 cent worth of rent and you still getting evicted? That's that democratic mindset. And, and that's, and, and that's the thing. See, these minorities, a lot of them don't want to work. By minorities, I mean blacks. Because, you know, Mexicans are minorities too, but they like to work. They're Mexicans. They, they work their asses off. And I'm just keeping it real. They will hustle and they will work. I give them that much credit. You see what I mean? But a lot of these blacks is lazy and they don't want to work. And that's just what it is. So naturally, they're going to go with the next best. They like to buck the system. They like to get them the Social Securities, the Section 8s, the low-income housing, all of that. They want to buck the system and get over. So they can smoke weed all day and get high. That's all they want to do. You see what I mean? They're lazy. So that, that's another reason they don't, they don't like Trump. Because Trump, he's he not with that laziness. You know, he's a hustler. He made his money. He became a billionaire. And they don't like that. Wow. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, my mind, I'm just blown away, man. I'm just blown away. Again, like I said, black people don't ever do their own research. They don't ever do their own research. They do everything based off. They do everything based off of rumor. You said, I mean, he said, she said. And that's crazy. Like, go ahead and read and study. Stop going with what other people tell you. Read. Go ahead and read a book. I mean, Google something. Google search something. You said, I mean, stop going off what other people tell you. I mean, go read. Go do your own research. Do your own reading. That is crazy, dude. That's crazy. Um, I, I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And then speaking. And then, okay. These, these they, they let influencers like, you know, mo- most black people, you know, I mean, by most, I'm talking about the, the, the when I say most black people, I'm talking about the uneducated, domestic, gutter minded black person who live in a gutter, live in a ghetto. Like, and these are the people that's going to vote. These most of these people that's the ones that's going to vote. Most of them. You see what I mean? So they let influence influence their decisions like the rappers. Now the rappers are talking trash about Donald Trump. They got the rappers rapping about them. You see what I mean? And I'm just gonna keep it so real with you. I'm gonna I'm just gonna say some names. I'm just gonna say some names. You have like uh the the, the, the rapper YG and the other dude uh, Nipsey Hussle. God bless Nipsey Hussle. So God bless him, man. I mean, you know, rest in peace. But these are the people who uh they made a song called F Donald Trump. You see what I mean? Okay. And I listened to the song. I I, I listened to the song thoroughly. Then I state no facts in the song. Then I stand. They, they they're not saying anything that you can learn off of. It's just all speculation. He, he say he say. And then and then it's like. The song actually make no sense. And then speaking of the song, let's let's talk about that, right? These these and these rappers that's that's dissing Donald Trump. Let's talk about them. They have no real street cred, none. You see what I mean? Uh, don't get me wrong. They're surrounded by goons. They're surrounded by goons and killers. But them themselves, like um, like again, I'm not not to you know. I'm just keeping it real. That YG dude, he never been in jail, never did no time. And this is the person y'all talking about, you know, F. Donald Trump. This dude, he can go be a police if he want to. He can go be a police if he want to. Because the thing about it is, if you have criminal history about you, there's certain jobs that you cannot do. And he can do it all. You see what I mean? He's, he's squeaky clean. And then, you know, the thing about it is this too. Nipsey Hussle, God bless him. You know, he was on the song with the, the, with the YG dude talking about F. Donald Trump. But the fact of the matter is this. Here's what it comes down to, right? Um, he, didn't, he, really, he didn't do no time. I mean, maybe he, he's in one of his songs. He said he did some time, but I don't know anybody that can back that up. Like, you know, can, can nobody say, oh, yeah, I did time with him. I, no, there's nobody that can say that. But these are the people that's influencing people talking about F Donald Trump. You know what I mean? Like, and not, not only that, right? Not, not only that, like these people, um, they, they like, oh, first in terms of let's talk about again. Hey. You know, you, like, again, since they want to talk about hating Donald Trump, the thing is, like, it's okay for, it's okay for them to hate Donald Trump. I mean, like, you, but yeah, here's what I want to say. You know who hate blacks more than any other, anybody else, other blacks. And that's just what it is. Blacks deal with self-hate issues. They got self-hate issues going on all through in the community. I mean, that's just what it is. You see what I mean? But you mad if somebody else hates you, but you, it's good. It's okay if you ought to hate yourself. You see what I mean? That, that That's fine, though. That's fine. And then... Back, back to the rappers, back to the rappers. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about me. Let's assume if I decide to rap. Let's say if I want to be a rapper. If I decide, if I want to be a rapper, I have more street cred than any other rapper just period that's, that's in a game, especially on the West Coast, any coast for that matter. But I will have more street cred because I'm going to tell you like this. I'm not a hardened criminal or nothing like that. You said I mean, but I will say this much. I, you know, I've been in the county jail here and there and, and, and had some stints here and there and every and I keep it. And and the thing about it is this, if I were to decide to rap and if I talked about going to jail, there's people that can back me up. Because all these goons, all these goons that these so called rappers is dissing Donald Trump that's surrounded by, I know them all. They know who I am, they know me by face and by some by name, but I know all of them. You see what I mean? And it's just what it is. Like people can vouch for me and what I did, people can vouch for mine. You said, I mean, like, I'm not, ain't nothing, there's nothing fake about me. You know, so, um, the, but the, the, they got these, these, stu- they, they studio gangsters. These studio gangsters is telling these, these, uh, influencing and minded, these, these domestic minded, uh, easily influenced black dudes. Uh, oh, F Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. F Donald Trump. Hell yeah. Don't even know why you're saying it. Stupid. You said, I mean, like, do your research. Go read, go study something. So now, uh, y'all done voted in Joe Biden, and Joe Biden hate black people. He even said it. You see what I mean? But here's what they're basing it off of. They're basing what, what, what Trump said. I believe Trump said something about, like, oh, before I even say what he said, here, here's the thing about me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep, I'm going to be personally, and, and this is so real. And I mean, here's how I live my life. I read that somebody Tell the truth to me and keep it real with me and insult me. You can insult me all you want as long as you keep it real. I don't mind. Insult me and keep it real. I'd rather you insult me and keep it real than compliment me and gas me up and feed me lies. You said, I mean, that just would, that, that, that's how I live my life. I'd rather you keep it real with me and insult me than to compliment me and feed me lies. You said, I mean, and that's just what it is. See, these black people, they want to be complimented and fed lies to. And that's what Joe Biden going to do. He's going to compliment you. He's going to feed you lies. That's exactly what he's going to do. You said, I mean, like, wow. And as far as economy, that's, that's out. Like I was just saying, economy, that's all. That's out the window. That's done. And, you know, but here's what they saying uh, with, with Trump. Go back to that. They, they saying Trump said, here's some statements that he said. You know, uh, it was a situation where Trump said, um, what did he say? He said, if black people want to go back to Africa, he'll pay, he'll pay for their uh, tickets to go back. He said something about he'll pay for them to go back to Africa. Okay, he said that. That's what he said. But and so y'all rolling with that. Y'all going to roll with that. And so y'all basically, y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to vote for him in based on, on, based on that, based on that statement. And a few other things he said, I keep, he said some things, but Here's the thing. Like I was just saying earlier, there's not going to be a single president with a, 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 exclude blacks out of it. But any president of any race that go in that office, they're going to be for their people. And that's just what it is. Trump is for his people. You can't be mad about that. But here's the thing. Like, even though he's for his people, you know, everybody was benefiting from having him in that office. Everybody's benefiting from that. You said, I mean, blacks, whites, whoever's benefiting from that. You said, I mean, he was going to keep the economy open. And here's, here's another thing they're trying to say. And here's what Joe Biden did. And he helped him win it. He helped him uh, give him a leg up in the, uh, in the debate. He was talking about uh, Donald Trump. He said, uh, 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 yeah, Trump, you killed uh, 250,000 uh, people died from Corona because of you. No, that's a lie. Because hey, let's talk about the, let's talk about that. The, the, uh, the, the COVID, excuse me, COVID. Let's talk about the COVID and, and, and what really happened with that. Okay, first off, um, the 250 people who passed away from that was not Donald Trump's fault at all. And I'm going to explain to you why. Here's why. Because, look, I, I'm going to use myself for an example. I'm going to use me. For, first off, I have real good common sense. I would never do nothing stupid to, 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 I would never do nothing stupid to put my life in danger. Like, I would never do that. Me personally, I have too much common sense for that. I'm going to say that about me. But I'm going to use me for an example. Anyway, let's say, okay, I go out, right? Let's say, um, I know I'm supposed to be wearing my mask. I go out and I don't wear a mask, right? And let's say I go to the beach. Let's say I, I'm in California, so let's say I go to Venice Beach. And let's say they have those performers performing, right? Like they perform in acrobatics. You know how people like to go surround something and they, they watch these performers and it's a crowd of people, right? Obviously, there's a pandemic going on. Obviously. Let's say I was, let's say I was stupid like most of these people out here doing these pandemics. Let's say I was like one of them, right? I go out in a pandemic 
and I'm, I'm sitting here clapping and watching the show with no mask on, right? And then I get diagnosed with COVID, right? I get diagnosed with that. And then I pass away from it. You know, oh, so, so is that Trump's fault? Is that Trump's fault that I happened to me? No, because I have my own mindset. That's the thing about it. People are going to do what they want to do anyway. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. That ain't Trump's fault that, that that happened. So so now, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, my family crying. Oh, man, Trump, Trump killed my son. My mom's crying. You know, Trump killed my son or whoever. Or, you know, people, uh, they, they sad because I'm dead. Now Trump, Trump is the reason why I died. Trump. But Trump didn't make me go to that crowd. That ain't his fault. You see what I mean? People like to point the finger and not take the responsibilities for their own actions. And that's just what it is. You know, it's crazy, man. You can't blame him for that. Like, it's, it's not his fault. You know, it's crazy, though, how people do that, though. Like, it's crazy. I, the thing about it is this. Um, you know, like I said, that election was rigged from the beginning, from the beginning. And you know, somebody made a good point. I want to, here's a great point that I almost forgot to say, because it, it annoys me when I forget to say my point. It really annoys me. Here's a point I want to make. People want to feel like they're a part of history, especially black people, especially. They want to say that, oh yeah, I was, I was alive when I was around when, um, we voted Kamala Harris in, like she's the first black vice president. Like, um, uh, yeah, she's the one, so we voted her in. Like, they want to feel like they're a part of something, like they're a part of history, so they'll do whatever. And they cloud chase. Oh my God. Don't even get me started on the cloud chasing. You see what I mean? And I'm going to bring up something that's not too much off the subject, but kind of on the subject. And when it comes to these blacks, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I'm going to bring this up. Like, um, here's something that really annoys me. Like, it, f- before I even say it, I want to say this. You know, the thing is, when it comes to these award shows and everything else, the, when he went to call the Oscars and now all these other shows and these, these Grammys and all that, yeah, like they, they, black people, they, 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 they so hard, like they go out of their way to try to get these white people approval, the approval of white people. They, they go so hard to do that. Why don't, why don't y'all support your own award shows and everything else? Try, and, and they get so butthurt, so butthurt. Again, with the award show thing, right? That's just an example of, how, uh, you know, they don't support the BT, they don't support all the Ebony Awards, what you call it, the NAACP, they, like, they don't care about none of that, you see what I mean, they so hell-bent on the, the, the Oscars and the and Emmys and all these other things that they, you know, and, and that's the thing, they get butthurt if they feel, like, discriminated against, but like I said, what about the blacks discriminating against other blacks, what about all that, you see what I mean, and I'm gonna give you an example, back what I was saying, it's a game that I play, right, it's a golf. I like playing golf, right? And I'm just I'm gonna throw this in here. It's a it's a, a game called Golf Clash. It's a uh, it's a it's an app that I play sometime on my free time on my phone. It's a golfing app. You know, you can play golf. It's like a PGA golf game, but really it should be called Golf Trash because it's it's rigged. But that's a whole nother story. But okay, and 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 this blacks got something to do with this, right? Let's for example, you know, and during a game when you see your opponent. This happens to me every time, every time. Like, okay, if, if for those that see my Facebook, my Facebook picture, those that follow me on Facebook, I mean, uh, those who are my Facebook friends, you know, again, I'm Zach Morrison on Facebook. In case for those who don't follow me, you can easily go look me up. I'm not hard to find. Uh, go look at my profile picture. It's perceivably to be a white dude on a profile picture. I mean, it's me because I look white or whatever. But, um, I mean, I'm a biracial dude or whatever. So whatever. Um. The thing about it is this, if you look at my profile picture, uh, you know, it's a dude, it's, it's perceivably to look like a white dude with a beard on my Facebook profile picture, right? So when I'm playing this golf game, um, when I'm playing this golf class golf game, you know, you can't, um, uh, like they have different emojis. Like, let's say for example, the emojis that you can send to people like, um, during a game, but here's the thing like, okay, um, you, you can't, you can't send them actual messages. You can only send the emojis and you can only send the message that the game programmed inside the game. I'm sure you guys know them type of games, right? So, like, if I'm going against somebody black, I always got to block them. I always got to block them from sending me messages because they always want to send messages to me. You know, I mean, men, men. I mean, w- w- sometimes, w- not really, you know, not women. W- women don't. It's it's the, the, the black dudes. I always want to send messages. They want a nut hug. Get off my nuts. They see, they, they think it's a white guy they send the messages to, cause like I said on my profile picture, I look like I could be a white dude, right? Technically I am white to a certain degree, but I'm not, you know, whatever. I'm a biracial dude. Everybody knows this. 
But the thing about it is this that to them, perceivably as a white dude, so they want to nut hug and send pictures to me. I mean, I mean, send me uh send me messages, emojis. Like, why are you sending emojis to a man you don't even know? You you never gonna see me, you never gonna ever in your life gonna see me. Never. So why are you sending me emojis for? Are you a homosexual? Is that what it is? Like, example, is God is my witness. Like Earlier this morning, before I even made this podcast, I said, let me get a few games of golf in. Now, it was a picture of a black dude. On, uh, it, in a, it looked like he was dressed up for church. He, he was sitting there on a couch with, it, with, 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 with his, holding his girlfriend's hand. Two blacks. Two, two black, a black dude and a black female. Looked like a nice couple. They looked like they've been a nice couple. I'm thinking, okay, this is cool. He said, I mean, so as soon as the game starts, like, not even five minutes of the game, this dude sending me emojis, sending me messages, talking. I'm like, why are you sending messages to another? Are you a homo? Why are you sending me mo- emojis for, bro? Like, I'm not sending you nothing? Like, for real? See, that just go how bad they trying to get these white people approval so bad. Come on, man. Knock it off. I'm not sending nothing to you, bro. You see what I mean? Like, but keep it real. I, I, I don't like when people do that, period. It's not, it's not just black dudes that do it. White dudes do it, too, though. They do it, too, though. And I, I don't like it at all. Like it just to me, it's homosexualized. And don't get I have nothing against gay people. It's, it's nothing against gay people. But if you gay, cool. But so I always had to block them. Like I always had to put the block up because I I I I, I can't stand getting emojis. I can't stand you sending me something. Like again, I'm not sending nothing to a man that I'm never gonna see. Like I don't. I'm never. You never. I'm never gonna see you. You never gonna see me in real life ever, ever. So why are you even sending emojis? Or, or trying to send messages to a man you never gonna meet. It makes no sense. You're a homosexual, and that's just what it is. Ain't no, ain't no if, ands, buts about it. That's just what you are. Period. You see what I mean? But um, yeah, every time I play somebody black, they're always doing that. Sending emojis. You know, sending laughing emojis, sending uh 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 good luck emojis, uh uh send I mean uh messages that they have to build their message you can sing. Talking about oh good luck. What else? Um close. Or um, nice shot, you know. Over, do you mean I don't need you to tell me what my game is about? Just play the game, dude. You see what I mean? Like that's why I have to constantly block them because they try to nut hug me too hard. You see, and this these, these black dudes is like that. These, these black dudes, and that's just what it is. Like I said, the white dudes do it too, though, and the Hispanics do it too. Keep it real; they always sending emojis, but I, I, I got I block every last one of them. But predominantly, black dudes do it more than anybody, and, and that's just what it is. You said, I mean, stop nut hugging, dude. Stop it. You know, the, th- the thing about it is this. Um, the, the, the fact of the matter is this. Um, you know, reason why, back to what I was saying, reason why they said they hate Trump so much, what they was hating on Trump, it didn't be- because of what he said about the Africa thing going with, with the tickets and the whatever. And it, uh, uh, allegedly his, his family was in Ku Klux Klan or something like that. Allegedly. You said, I mean, but they didn't do their research on Joe Biden. Joe Biden do not like you at all. He do not. You see what I mean? He even said it. Like, you can go Google it. Go research it. He said, I don't want my kids going to school with these monkeys. He said that out of his mouth. He said he don't like black. He hate black people. He said it. I mean, how, y- y'all still voted this man in without doing your research? Like, for real? Wow. And here's another thing, right? I- I'm sorry. You know, first off, I want to say... I got love for, you know, Mexicans, whatever, Hispanics. I do. I mean, you know, but I, I'm about to say some real stuff, man. You know, like I said, with me, nobody's safe. And I'm just going to keep it real. Um, here's, a, here's, a, here's something that Trump was getting accused of. First off, Trump passed a law that I completely agree with. Here's a law that he passed that I agree with. I'm sorry I do. Here's, what he, here's a law that he passed when he was in. Uh, he passed a law to where if you have a kid here in the States... It, like say if you're an immigrant and you have kids here in the states, he's still deporting you. Like you know, that don't make your kid an American just because you had it here. And, and that's so good that he did that because people's coming here having kids just so they can say that their kids are American, so they won't have to leave. You said I mean, and here's what they're accusing Trump of, right? Here's what they was accusing him of. Here's one of the main things they're accusing him of. They said Trump is breaking families up when he was deporting. Um, we, we, he supported Mexicans back to Mexico. He's deporting them. They was accusing Trump of breaking up families, saying, "Oh man, he's breaking." And they showed on the news these families hugging each other because they're getting separated and all this. Try to make a big dramatic scene out of it. I'm about to hit you guys with some real facts. Here, here's the facts of it: is facts. I'm gonna tell you this, right? Um, what was what was Mexicans doing 
when they was when they was immigrating here, what were they doing? Were they not breaking up families? Were, were, were they not doing that? You said I mean again, I got love for Mexicans. I do. God knows I do. But I'm just keeping it real. You said I mean like what 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 what, what were they doing when they was coming here? Were they not breaking families up? So so let me here's what I want to understand. Somebody please help me understand this, right? So it's wrong when Trump do it, but it's okay when Mexicans when they immigrate here. It's okay when they do it. When they when they immigrate here and break families up, that's okay. But if Trump send them back, that's wrong. Is is that what it is? Somebody help me clear this up. You see what I mean? Like I, it, it don't make sense to me. It don't. I'm sorry. You see what I mean? Um. So yeah, man. Uh, I, it's 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 crazy, dude. Like I, it just it don't, it don't make no sense. This whole election, like I said, it was rigged. It was fixed from the beginning. They didn't want Trump in there anyway. Um. It's crazy. And like I said, the economy about to be shut down because here's here's Joe Biden even said himself. He said um, he going to keep people locked down and, that, and you know, he going to keep them locked down. So we might be locked down for another three, four years. You said, I mean, because these idiots voted Biden in without doing their research. Voting Kamala Harris without doing their research. Kamala. First off, Kamala Harris, like I said, ain't, there's nothing black about Kamala Harris other than her skin color. Her husband's not black. She don't claim blackness like that. She don't. You see what I mean? Uh, she claimed she's Indian or something, Native American. She claimed that. You see what I mean? But but it's you know, black is the last thing she's trying to claim. But the thing about it, y'all still the thing about black people too, you can have one percent of black in you. You can have like a speck of black in you. They want to claim, oh, that person, he, oh, they black, they black. They want to claim you as black if you have a speck in you. Say, come on, man. Y'all need to stop dude. Knock that off, dude. Knock it off. Wow. You know what? Um, yeah, I, I'm just I'm just blown away, man. Like I'm I'm just really blown away. Like it's crazy, man. Like it's crazy that um I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone. Like this makes no sense whatsoever. Um I I mean I gotta touch back on the small business thing, man. Like, um, like I'm a I have a small business. Like I, I have, you know. Like I have my own vending machine business and it, you know, it's going to do fairly well, but you know, uh, since the Corona thing came in, it kind of, you know, uh, put things on hold a little bit. I mean, I just, I mean, I, you know, I have a day job, but I mean, the, the, the business is like my, my silo business thing. Now it's going to be put on hold because of Joe Biden. Reason why I don't like Joe Biden. Cause he's affecting my money. He's affecting my pockets. That's one reason why I don't like him. You know, one thing, I mean, he's fake. He's a snake. He's a, he's a politician. And like, I, like I said, all them politicians, they, they steal and they lie. That's just what they do. There's not an honest politician. They all tell lies. That's just what all of them do. One thing about Trump, he kept it real and he wasn't a politician. You see what I mean? I mean, these other guys are politicians. Trump, Trump, he's a, like I said earlier, he's a self-made billionaire and he's a successful businessman and not just what it is. You see what I mean? Um, so, I mean, I, 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 I do not understand him. And before Trump, before he even started running for office, Google this. Like I said, I don't say nothing without facts. I don't say nothing without um, without actual facts about it. You can Google what I say. Google this. Um, before Trump became president, before he's even before he even ran for office, he was the praise of many rap songs. You said, I mean, I, there's been numerous rap songs with Trump name in it, praising him, talking about how successful he is, how people, how they want to be like Trump. You said, I mean, so it's like, so what with, with the change came in at? You said, I mean, but like I said, he's keeping it real. You know, I mean, uh, like the stimulus checks, Trump, what else? The, uh, the EDD that y'all was getting Trump. That's, that's out now. That's all out. Now, now that Biden, he going to cut all that out. See y'all some dummies, dude. Y'all some by dummies. I'm talking about these black dudes, man. And that just with it. Some of these black women is dumb too, though. Some of them is dumb too. You said, I mean, I'm going to tell you why you black women are dumb. I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because you support these black dudes who don't support you. And that's just what it is. And I'm keep, keeping it so 100. Like, And this goes, stem back what I was saying, back to the George Floyd thing. Um, how black women was getting killed for this dude. Go, for, for this protesting for this George Floyd dude. All this, and getting out there, getting beat up, getting shot with rubber bullets, getting killed. And George Floyd didn't like black women at all. His girlfriend that, 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 uh, that was with him, she wasn't black. She was a straight white broad. You said, I mean, like a lot of these black dudes be with these white females. 
this, this self hate issues they got going on, and and these black women be supporting these dudes. I'm telling you, man, y'all need to stop supporting these black dudes. I'm telling you, and that's just what it is. Like, and, and, and this everything I'm saying is facts. For example, here's what George Floyd did. Since we talk about the, the and, and this somebody they made a mortar out of this dude. They made a mortar out of this George Floyd dude. Um, um, he he he, he went to jail uh, for for what he did. Uh, he he robbed a pregnant black woman at gunpoint. I believe he pistol whipped her. I believe he pistol whipped her too. He definitely robbed her at gunpoint. A pleg- a pregnant black woman is what George Floyd did. But this is the people they made a mortar out of. Come on, y'all need to do y'all research. Start studying. Start looking up these people. You know another thing too to have this bad? Religion have this bad. Like I, I'm gonna lie, religion have it bad. Me, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get uh too uh I'm not gonna touch on the topic of religion too hard, but I'm gonna say this. Um you have people, these religious people, these so called religious people in these churches. First off, I want to say the devil, he's in a church more than anything. He's he's in a church more than he's anywhere else, more out in the world. He's he's in a church more than he's in the world. First off, I'm gonna say that, and then another thing. People quit to follow religions and everything else without doing their own research. Go read. Go study. Go look it up yourself. Stop believing what people tell you. You see? And, and the, like, uh, like if you want to know what the, the real religion, if you want to know the truth, go search for the truth. Go look for, go read it. Go search it out. Stop going. Stop. And, and this will call all these religious wars because people not. And, and then and a lot of these religious leaders, they know they're feeding y'all lies. They know it. But that's their hustle. That's they. That, that's how they get their money. You see what I mean? And that's just what it is. Same with these politicians. They gonna lie. They crooks because that's how they get their money. But the thing is, you need to start researching what these people do, man. Stop just taking people word for things. That is crazy. Um, the, the, you know the thing about it is this, man. Uh, like I said, these politicians is liars. And oh, before I even go there, I'm gonna say this. It, it, another fact, they just approved, and I forgot what state it is, but you can Google it, look it up. They approved the use of crack cocaine. They approved it. And here's what they're going to start doing. Mark my words. They're going to start selling crack cocaine along with uh, uh, marijuana. The weed shops, they're going to say, oh, yeah, buy your crack cocaine here, buy your crack and buy your weed right here. That's what they're going to say. Because you know what? Because now they can tax it now. Like this, like this country is corrupt, dude. Like this country is straight up corrupt. Facts. I, and I, I know for a fact that the, the fact that Joe Biden is that he's a president now, and, and Kamala Harris, the vice president, that go to show how corrupt this country is. And, and that's just what it is. You see what I mean? That's just uh, the epitome of it. You see, the thing is, believe it or not, there was a time when alcohol wasn't illegal. Alcohol was illegal at one point. That was a prohibition days back in the days of the mobsters, the Al Capone and, and Lucky Luciano, all them days, the prohibition days. But here's the thing. They figured out a way to tax it. So they made it legal. That's why they did. So what they're trying to do with this, they, they figure out a way to uh, just crack cocaine. They trying to figure out just like that. That's why they made marijuana legal. The marijuana was illegal. For, and everybody know that. Now they made it legal. You know why? Because they figure out the way they can tax it. Only thing they care about is money. That's all America care about is money. They corrupt, and 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 you know the one leading the corruption is, is Joe Biden. He the he the head of this corruption. Facts. The thing is, same with the uh the the, the crack, the crack cocaine. They they figure out a way to tax it, so that's why they're making it legal. So we got to make this legal because this is a big money maker for us right here. So we're gonna make this legal. We're gonna make it legal so that way we can tax them and we don't care. And not only that. If, if you want me to even get even more real with it, you want me to give you more raw and uncut with it, that's where population control. You see what I mean? That's where they control the population. That's a that's another way right there. That's a the thing is, they're not going out shooting people. They're not doing no, they're letting you kill yourself. They're gonna let you do that to yourself. Population control right there because they know most people are drug addicts, all these Biden supporters that voted for Biden, they know they they drug addicts and they drug addicts and dope fiends. And they, they have no mind. They, they drones or no minds of their own. And that's just what it is. You see what I mean? Um, and, and it just, I'm, I'm exposed at all now. I mean, it is what it is. Why do you think they got liquor stores? Uh, let me see. Liquor stores, fast food joints. What else they have? Um, liquor stores, fast food, fast food joints, um, and all the weed shops, all in the urban and black communities. All, the, the, community, the communities with the minorities. The black and Mexican communities, that's, in, in the black and Mexican communities, they have the weed shops, they have the 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 uh the liquor stores, they have the fast food joints, and then they have churches on every corner. 
Every single corner you go, there's a church. Come on now. Man, wake up. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Like I said, I'm exposing all this because the thing about it is this. Joe Biden should not have won that. He should not have won that uh, presidency. He should not have won. Period. Wow. Like, I'm just mind boggled. I'm just so mind boggled and just so disturbed by these black people who did not do their research. Y'all voted in somebody who called y'all monkeys. Joe Biden said y'all was a bunch of monkeys. That's what he said out of his own mouth. Go look it up. Go research. Go read. Look it up. So I mean, y'all, y'all hating Trump. Don't even know why you hate him. So I mean, like you, you're going based off of speculation because he said y'all, y'all got y'all feelings hurt because he says something as of recent about the thing about Africa. Now y'all, y'all mad about that. So I mean, and then alleged Ku Klux Klan about his family. Y'all mad about that. Come on, man. Y'all was winning off of, of when, when, when Trump was in office, y'all was winning. Y'all was actually winning. Y'all, y'all, y'all was scamming the EDD. Y'all was scamming that. Y'all was scamming the, uh, what you call that, the, uh, the stimulus check. Y'all was scamming that. And that's Trump's doing. Come on, man. Are y'all, are y'all serious right now? Like the EDD is, it's about to be gone. EDD is about to be gone. What else is about to be gone? Uh, stimulus, that's out. All of that's out. Every, are y'all hustling is out. Y'all about to be locked down. Period. Biden go about to lock all y'all dummies down. That's and y'all voted him in office. Wow. Man, that is ridiculous, dude. I did like here's what it comes down to. Minorities want to vote. And that's just what it is. If you look at the statistics of who voted for Trump and who voted for uh, Biden, minorities voted for uh, Biden and, and they want to vote. Like immigrants about to start pouring in here through uh, through Mexico. They're about to start running in here, pouring now. Now that Biden's up in here. And, and, and that's just what it is. Abortion's about to go up. But Kamala Harris approved that. You said, I mean, uh, uh, how are you going to have a baby that's nine months? Uh, when a baby is nine months, or about, when, when she's about nine months pregnant, like he, he, a baby has a mind, has a brain. It can, it's functional by that time. But Kamala Harris approved that. She's approved the, the abortion. She approved all that. It's all approved. Kamala Harris did that. that that's her doing. You said, I mean, so... Like, man, y'all just vote people in without doing no research, man. That's ridiculous. Wow. I'm lost for words, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm mind boggled. I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone. You know what it is? I'm going to tell you, they're going to, all the memes is coming out. We live in a, we live in a time of social media and memes. People trying to cloud chase. You said, I mean, that's just what it is. Like they, they looking at cloud chase. They looking. So, um, we living in a brain dead society filled with coke, coke heads, marijuana users, alcoholics. That's what we. That, that's just a, that's the society we live in. And people that they're, they're gullible, naive. They're naive, and they have no. They're uneducated. They they're um uh, and 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 they're easily influenced. You see what I mean? They they have they have no structure. They have no like. It's like the blind leading the blind, and that's just what it is. They listen to what these rappers, these studio gangster rappers, are telling them stuff, and they listening to that. The rappers are telling them F Donald Trump. So they rolling with that. Do your own research, man. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. That is, I, I mean, I have so much more I could say. I have so much more I could say. I really do. But I think I held y'all long enough, man. And uh, like, I, I think I held y'all long enough. You know, I'm not even going to, um, I'm not even going to, um, you know, hold y'all too long, but I think I said a lot, a lot that what I needed to say, like I said, I have a lot more I could say. I'm just, I'm just blown away, man. Like this is crazy. This is crazy. Like my pockets are affected by this. Like real talk, my pockets are affected by this. You see what I mean? And now everybody else's pockets about to be affected. At least with Donald Trump, he gave you the ability to go hustle and make money. You said, I mean, and that's just what it is. But Joe Biden, you're not about to do none of that. It ain't, it ain't happening on Joe Biden's watch. And y'all going to see, y'all going to see what's going to happen. Watch what's going to happen is this. Y'all going to regret voting him in. Mark my words. You, you minorities that voted him in, y'all guys are going to regret it. Believe me when I tell you. Wow, man. Wow. With that being said, I guess, uh, wow, man, I'm about to get out of here. Um, 
I guess I'll do my social media handles. I mean, I guess I'll do that. Um, you know, oh, was it? I can't even think straight. Facebook, I'm Zach Morrison. Uh, what else? Uh, uh my my Instagram is Vladbrad underscore one. Vladbrad underscore one is my Instagram. Um, yeah, uh, my YouTube is Vladbrad one. You know, I switched up a few things. So yeah, uh, I'll be making more podcasts. I'm not gonna just uh, you know, I'm not gonna like be gone as long as I was this time. I mean, I have so much stuff to talk about, so many more issues to talk about. I have a lot that I want to share with you guys. Um, but I guess we in for another four years of of uh, we in for four years of some some BS. So with that being said, I'm here for it. And I'm here to get, and I, I'm here to help help us get through it. If I can do that, I don't know what else to say, man. With that being said, I am gone.